Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Coffee and Headlines, our morning get-together live here on Facebook, where we examine headlines from our city, our state, our country. We examine your news, your comments, your ideas, and your suggestions. And we celebrate birthdays such as Marie's, who's celebrating her birthday today. Happy birthday, Marie. I hope you have a wonderful day today. Um, it is a pleasure to get together with you every single day, and today is no exception. Today is February 9th. It is Wednesday. It is hump day, and we have all kinds of news to share today. We have updates on the pandemic, updates on sanitary mandates. We have some scathing remarks about Seapal, our favorite waterworks company. We have a mini rant about the market vendors on the Rio Quale. We have some news for Banda music lovers. And last but not least, oh, we have a couple of other things, but we have some new information about tortilla soup that became relevant yesterday when somebody made a question. So we're going to tackle all these wonderful things, but not before inviting anyone that is new to let us know that you are here for the first time. You can do that by adding the word new to your comment and that way we will give you a nice little welcome if we may also if you have something truly important that you wish to share with everyone and you would like to make sure that we don't miss it during the broadcast or shortly thereafter please add a capital letter q at the beginning of your comment so that we can um, get to your comment after the weather. So th that is what we're going to do today. Let us get started with the, our broadcasts and we'll take it from there. Okay, let us start with an interview that was conducted yesterday with our governor. Governor Alfaro indicated that there are signs that show that the current pandemic wave that is sweeping through our state is finally beginning to decrease. This, of course, aside from the fact that our state returned to orange uh, in the national COVID stoplight indicator. So can we expect any changes on the current sanitary mandates? The answer is no, again, as stated by the governor. That said, it is worth remembering that the current mandate calling for people uh, to show proof of vaccination upon entering a bar if they want to enjoy themselves at a cocktail place, um, the, that mandate is supposed to end in three days. So we wonder how that's going, or at least I do. Well, according to this news item, over a dozen bars in Puerto Vallarta received a warning from health inspectors for not following the current sanitary mandate, which went into effect on January 14. But ultimately, not a single one of them has been shut down, whereas in Guadalajara, a number of businesses have been shut down. It is worth mentioning that as of this morning, state health authorities have not made any statement 
as to whether the current sanitary mandate will indeed end in three days time or if it will continue to be in effect. So if you are thinking, yay, I can go drinking again because the sanitary mandate is over, it has not been confirmed that it will end. Just saying. Um, I found this editorial item, again, not praising Seapal in any way, shape, or form. Seapal, of course, is our favorite waterworks company. Uh, and of course, if you've been lacking water pressure or you've been lacking water, period, it is because of Seapal. The company, according to this article, is crumbling, having gone uh, from an institution that was recognized internationally years ago to an organization that simply cannot deliver properly. In the eyes of the writer, the explanation is quite simple, and I think he has a lot of sense. Neither the current Seapal director nor the previous one have any expertise in the management of a waterworks company. They are both politicians. I think that that requires no further explanation, and it seems to be very clear to me. Yeah, but on boom. And then we have another one. Vendors at the Kuala market are now demanding uh, that the city go and repair the suspended pedestrian bridge that connects the Isla vendors with the market vendors. And uh, they are arguing that a suspended bridge is a lot less expensive than repairing a street. And for that matter, according to them, it's a lot less expensive than two weeks' salary for the city council members. <sighs> and I can't resist a commentary, and I'm going to make it as on uh, ranty as possible. You know what is even less expensive than two weeks' salary for the city council members? That would be an account on Facebook and maintaining your access to the Internet. I can guarantee that a large number of those vendors at the market are sitting there waiting for customers to come while they're surfing Facebook. So it makes me wonder how many of these vendors are just waiting for things to happen and for things to be provided by the government and how many of these vendors are taking matters into their own hands and promoting themselves. I wonder of all the eateries inside the market, for example, how many of them are promoting their own dishes on their own? How many of the vendors are letting people know what they have? And it's it's a thing that, um, you know, makes me think about uh, the fact that we all have all kinds of ways in which we can improve our knowledge around our business. And, uh, and some of us do, and some people don't. So I wonder if you're a business owner in town or you're a shopper, what, what are you doing to improve your own skill set to make your business more effective? And I wonder if these businesses are doing uh, something to, to take care of themselves. I know that it is an important tourism attraction, and I know that this is, a, this is a good thing to support here in the city. But even in my last week, uh, not week, my last walk around the market, in having conversations with some of the vendors, um, a lot of them talk about the situation in terms of... Um, in terms of no, no, they haven't given us this or they haven't given us that or they haven't delivered on their promise. So, you know, I won't talk about this anymore because I know that I'll probably get ranty without meaning to. I understand that there are people that don't have abilities to learn as much as other people. But my wish for these vendors is that they take better care of themselves with whatever is available to them at present time. And when the government is able to fix their bridge, the government will. Let's take a look at the weather. Who knew the Oscars would be the one place where we don't have to talk about Bruno? Oh my goodness, that is a clear reference from 
uh, Encanto, the animated movie that uh, Luin, Lin-Manuel Miranda is involved in. And of course, I think it's nominated for the Oscars. Anyhow, it is 23 degrees right now. Feels like 24. Humidity is low. Let's all go out for a walk. It's 46%. And um, for the Fahrenheit folks out there, it is 74 degrees Fahrenheit. Should we stop giving the weather in Fahrenheit? I mean, you tell me. I'm happy to do it, but I also wonder how many people actually need Fahrenheit information when we live here in Mexico and our temperature is always shown in Celsius. Um, our weather forecast for today is clear through the day with a high temperature of 28, low temperature of 15. Thursday, tomorrow, we can expect a clear day uh, with a high temperature of 28 and a low temperature of 16. And on Friday, we will have yet another clear day with a high temperature of 29 and a low temperature of 17. Moving right along, if you are a banda music lover, we have bad news for you. As we announced a few days ago, the city um, has not granted a permit for a banda music dance event that has been promoted since December to take place within Puerto Vallarta uh, around Valentine's Day. And um, because it doesn't have any permits. And now we learn that a similar event that was scheduled for Bahia de Banderas has also been canceled because we are, um, the, we, they did not have the proper permit. So it's a bummer. But uh, these days, you have to have a permit. What can I say? Um, moving right along. Oh, my God. I love this moment yesterday. Thank you, Mark. Thank you for sending me on a rabbit hole uh, about soups. Yesterday, Mark Jennings asked us, maybe a dumb question, but is there a difference between tortilla soup and sopa azteca? Well, as it turns out, I knew there were some differences, but I couldn't pinpoint them on the spot. I didn't want to make things up. But I do have information. And of course, now I have a huge craving for sopa azteca. So... First, we have tortilla soup. It's quite popular. You can find it just about everywhere and anywhere. And then you have uh, Azteca soup or Aztec soup or sopa Azteca, which looks kind of similar but different. And uh, I'm not even showing these to you, so let me <laughs> correct that. Here is the, this is a tortilla soup. And it has crumbled tortillas on top and other chingaderas. This is an Aztec soup, and it has crumbled tortilla pieces on top and other chingaderas. So what is the main difference? Well, let us start with the similarities. Both soups share many of the same ingredients, but the fundamental difference between them both is that tortilla soup is prepared with a tomato-based broth, Whereas Aztec soup or sopa azteca is prepared with a black bean based broth. It also features crunched crispy pork rind and panela cheese and other ingredients. And of course, this whole rabbit hole has now left me wondering, is there a place in Puerto Vallarta where one can enjoy an actual Aztec soup? I know I've had it not in a long time. In fact, I had not even thought about Aztec soup in, in forever until Mark mentioned it yesterday. So um, so if you have seen uh, Aztec soup out there, please let us know. Let us know in your comments. Curiously enough, when I searched on Google uh, Sopa Azteca and, um, and then I um, looked at the pictures that Google showed me, there is a very common misconception that both soups are one and the same, but they are not. So maybe Michael, Michael Buford, are you there, Michael? If you're watching, maybe Poblanos. I know you probably have tortilla soup. I don't remember, but do you have Aztec soup or have you seen Aztec soup anywhere in the city? Now I have a craving and I'm sure maybe some of you do as well. Uh, moving right along, I want to let you know that uh, if you have any curiosity about the Mexico's latest banknotes, some friends tipped me off um, the fact that there is now an app 
for your cell phone that relies on augmented reality for you to learn more about their design and features. The app was designed by, was released by the Bank of Mexico, and it features both an iOS download and an Android download. Both downloads are free. So uh, this is one of those things in which you point your camera at the bill and crazy things start moving, I suppose. I'm not sure. I haven't tried it myself, but there you go. Something to learn more about our current bills. And that's what we have to share with you today. Oh, I have another question. Uh, you may or may not know. A friend of mine who that did not have all the details tipped me of a new museum uh, located around El Remance. And I asked her, well, is this the history museum that is located in downtown Puerto Vallarta? And she said, no, this is somewhere beyond the Quale River Bridge. So if you have heard of any, have heard anything about a new museum in Colonia El Remance, I'd love to hear any details so we can go uh, researching this as well. And now let's take a quick look at your comments just to see what everybody is up to. Uh, -pa -pa -pa. Lots of good mornings and so wonderful to read them. Do, 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 de, da, de, da, da. Wanda is saying good morning from Mexico City. That sounds wonderful. Uh, oh, and, and by the way, uh, after I shared about Vidanta yesterday, there's a lot of buzz online about the new cruise. And uh, there's a lot of buzz online about how expensive it is. And of course, we have not seen any uh, further details on that matter. And of course, the political news uh, sources were, were just having a field day yesterday because, as you recall, the state of Nayarit has been very, very busy promoting the fact that they're changing the name of their cities and they're going to have Nuevo Nayarit and this, that, and the other. And of course, the political news outlets were mocking the fact that Vidanta, which is located in Nayarit, will have to rely on Jalisco's. Uh, maritime terminal to take people from one place to another. Uh, that was supposed to be funny, but now that I'm saying it, not very. Anyhow, let's see. Ooh, how fancy Ramona switching hotels today. I'll get lucky if I can switch my underwear by the end of the broadcast. Um, do 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 do. Uh, I have songs stuck in my head, but I don't want to burden you with that today. Uh, there is a... Oh, my God. How do you guys do that? There is a hat missing from the chair. It was part of your ambience. That is correct. I put my usual walking hat up somewhere else. I was cleaning up the house yesterday, and the hat is gone. My apologies, Kate. I'll bring the hat back to the chair. But, oh, my goodness, that the good eyes. Good eyes, good eyes. I love it. <clears throat> Do -dun 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 -dun. Brian, thank you for becoming a member. Uh, I noticed that you became a member just a few days ago, and I want to say that I appreciate that very much. And if I don't say thank you personally to folks that become ongoing members, it's not, um, it, it, uh, please don't hold it against me. It's sometimes I notice, sometimes I don't, and maybe I could be better about it, but, uh, but, but thank you. Anyway, thank you for your support. Um, I was all set to book a cruise on the Vidanta. Unfortunately, the cruises don't start until April 14th. Alas, I leave on March 31st. Jonathan, please share the details. We are curious to know how much it is and what you're getting. If you don't mind sharing, uh, please let us know. Uh, let's see what else. Da, 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 da. Let's keep up the mask wearing and social distancing. Let's keep that up, Patty. Absolutely. This is not over until it's over. Uh, Michal says, I have purchased a number of items from vendors on Facebook, especially when more things were closed. Great communication and they delivered. Um, I tell you, Michal, one of my present challenges is I'm trying to purge a lot of things from my house that I don't want anymore. And I wish I knew someone 
and maybe you guys do, who comes to your house and takes things away. I have absolutely no, uh, no salesmanship genes. I am never going to put together a yard sale for people to come and take away things from my house that I no longer want or need. I don't have a vehicle to transport them, and I don't necessarily want to leave them down on the street for the trash collectors either. So if anybody has knowledge of anyone that takes things away from your house to repurpose them, um, I would love the tip because I'm trying to simplify my lifestyle here. And there are a lot of things that I have that I just don't use anymore that I wouldn't mind getting rid of. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> The Celsius versus Fahrenheit. I didn't mean to push buttons on the Fahrenheit. Uh, the Fahrenheit people can read the screen. That's snarky and I love it. Uh, Glee says, I need Fahrenheit. <laughs> Patty says, me, I'm not familiar with Celsius. I wonder if you live here, Patty. If you live here, you may want to get familiar with Celsius. Um we are in a country that uses Celsius, so that is all that is required. I love it. I love it because you guys are clear, local-minded people. Love it. I find seeing dollar prices versus pesos irks me. You know, Jill, I I hear you. I hear you. And um, and sometimes I wonder because, I mean, I we have coffees in in dollar currency just because it's easier because it's more internationally regarded so i would be the first person that would have to change that to pesos so hmm i don't know what to do uh let's see what else we have had a great dinner with albert and Gwen at Merida Grill. I've been wanting to go to Merida Grill. I've heard about it and haven't gotten around to it. Uh, but hopefully I will at some point. Uh, Ernesto's is the best by far. Well, Ernesto's is the best by far tortilla soup, without a doubt. We love their tortilla soup. But I'm wondering where we can find Aztec soup. Oh, there you go. El Set has very good sopa azteca. I'll add that to my list of research. Thank you very much, Gary. Uh, Jenny comments on the Bill app. It is such a fun app. I'll have to download that. Javier also has seen it. Thank you very much. My future ex-husband, Carlos, says hello. Papacito. Um... Charles asks, why are we speaking English here if this is a country that speaks Spanish? Well, isn't that a big, big question, Charles? Um, I don't know. Why? You tell me. Uh, I will tell you that this channel takes not advantage, but the fact is there are a number of people in town that don't speak Spanish. Now, I'm not saying that people should or shouldn't. What I'm saying is that there is an opportunity there for me being bilingual to create a nurturing connection. Will there ever be a time in which everybody speaks Spanish? I seriously doubt it. So why are we speaking English here if this country, if this is a country that speaks Spanish? Well, si comenzara yo a hablar en español en este momento, una gran mayoría de ustedes no me entenderían. Entonces, ¿qué haríamos con el contenido del programa? Don't you think? There you go. Let's see what else we have. Ba, ba, di, ba, ba. Arte Vallarta Museo at El Remance. I think they're having an opening this Friday. So is it a museum or is it an art store? We don't know, but thank you very much for the actual name, Linda. I will go and research on, uh, on Facebook and I will be, bring back some information if I can find something. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's see. The new museum is opening February 12th, and the Art Vallarta on Calle Pilitas will have all the information. Okay, groovy. Uh, da, 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 da. Charles says, this cluster is helping me transition to my move to Mexico. That's exactly what we're here for. 
Uh, let's see. Glenn said, I'm Glee says, saw the Bruno Mars show at Act Two last night for the second time. Fantastic show. Um, I ask you, what made it fantastic? I am not being shady. I am just curious um, because, you know, we'd love to know. Let's see what else we have. Gouda says, I had donated some stuff that Angie Starr picked up as she knows a good fellow down on his luck who sells things on the street. Oh, what a great suggestion. Thank you very much, Richard. I will connect with Angie and see if she wants to come over to my house and get rid of chingaderas. Thank you very much. That's an excellent suggestion. Uh, Vallarta Food Bank, another source for stuff. Thank you very much for that suggestion, Doug. I will look into that as well. Uh, what type things, as I know someone moderator in Cinco... Well, that's the problem, Patty. I have everything from old cameras and electronic equipment to Tupperwares to office supplies to you name it. I mean, it's just a bunch of stuff. Um, and again, I want to make this as uncomplicated as possible. The last thing that I would want, and I'm not, I'm not shaming your suggestion. The one thing that I'm trying to avoid is having to get picky or dealing with people that, you know, it's like, you know, if you have electronics, I'll go. But if you have camera stuff, I won't go. You know, I just want to make it simple. Uh, and I don't even know if that's possible. But thank you very much for your suggestion uh, or for your comment, rather. And this is exactly what I thought I would do. You know, just put everything down on the street and put a little sign that says, you know, used clothes, but they're clean or whatever. Um, maybe that's what I'll do. I don't know. I'll look at your suggestions, which are very much appreciated. Let's see. Ba, ba, di, ba, ba. Hmm. I think you would lose a lot of your audience if you did your podcast in Spanish, which is why we won't and we wouldn't, Lori. It is very clear to me that as long as there is a lack of knowledge of the local language, there is an opportunity for me to make a living. And I, have, I don't think that's something to be embarrassed about. Uh, quite the contrary. I'm very proud to be able to be a connector between the city and our native language and English-speaking folk, to the extent that one can be. Uh, let's see what else. Da -di -da 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 -da. Uh, do -do 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 There's another cue. Do you have an automatic quesadilla maker for sale? Are you pulling my leg, Mark? I never got one, and I probably never will, but if I had gotten one, I would have gotten rid of it, as, again, I'm trying to simplify my life. Have you seen any of those minimalist-type websites and shows? I mean, that's what I want for myself. Um, Glee says, the singing was great. He has the mannerisms of Bruno, and the music was great. Everyone was dancing in their seats. Thank you very much for that. That helps a lot, actually. <clears throat> uh, sounds like you need a pawn shop. Are there pawn shops in town? You know, there are pawn shops in town. They are used stuff uh, stores in town. In fact, the most popular bazaar in the city is two blocks away from my house. I just don't want to have to schlep the stuff if I can help it for obvious reasons. Uh, but I may just have to wait. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Christina says, what about taking your stuff to that secondhand store? Christina, I say, how about you helping me take the stuff? It's not like I can carry a lot of things. I'm lucky enough if I can put up my pants in the morning. Uh, and I'm not complaining. I just know that I have to wait. Uh, let's see. La, li, la, la. Michal says, I can help you purge. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. M Michael says, can I have your mango fork? No, I'm not giving those up. Those are absolutely essential. And, what you're, and while you're here, Michael, where can we find Azteca sopa? Sopa Azteca, please. Let's go find some together. 
uh, da, da, da. Rita didn't wait and went and downloaded the app, and she thinks it's fun. This is great to know. Brian has a common question, a recommendation on a Spanish school. There are a couple in the city, but again, I don't know that I have a specific one. Uh, there are some people that offer private instruction as well. If somebody has any recommendations for Brian, I'm sure they would be welcome and much appreciated. Uh, Christine says, where is a secondhand store? I need this. Well, Christine, we have a general map here at Coffee and Headlines. It's a Google map. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that on that map, we have a pin for the secondhand store. If you remember, we started a map. We have a map for restaurants near Versailles or in Versailles. We have a map for tacos. Those maps are about food. But then we also established a general map for general landmarks for questions such as yours. So right after the broadcast, I will do two things. Number one, I will make sure that the secondhand store is listed on that map. And number two, I will add the link to that map to the show notes so that we can all take advantage for it. Along those lines, if you find general information locations, not businesses per se, uh, but business, but office buildings, hospitals, this, that, and the other that you think should be in our general reference map, we would love your feedback. And this, my friends, brings us to the end of today's broadcast. Thank you very much for your company. Thank you very much for your comments. Uh, and thank you so very much for sending me on little cultural missions. I love your questions because I always end up learning something from you. And that makes my life and my day much better than the previous one. Have a great day and I'll see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.